all the way from the UK. It's Stuart Goldsmith. Good evening, Melbourne. How lovely to be here. Thank you for having me. I got here last night and I'm staying in an Airbnb in Brunswick because I'm a very contemporary gentleman. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever stayed in an Airbnb. I cannot recommend it enough. The way it works is when you go on your city break, which is like a holiday but for wankers. <laughs> It's true, right? It's like the tapas of the holiday world. You pay more, you get less, but you feel five times as smug. All right. <laughs> you go on your city break, instead of paying over the odds for a posh hotel, what you can do instead is get on this website and it will hook you up with a stranger who trusts you with their home. <laughs> and then you betray that trust. <laughs> it is the most fun. I cannot recommend it enough. Once you're in, they leave. They leave the building with you there with all their stuff. You don't like their spoons? Tip all their spoons in the bin. Fuck them. <laughs> you, you can wear their clothes. You're not allowed, of course you're not. It's illegal. They can't stop you. As soon as they leave the house, you can pop on Alfredo's Jim Jams and his bathrobe and start sashaying around the flat, getting into character. Who is this Alfredo guy? How does he walk? How does he dance? Where does Alfredo make love? On every surface of the kitchen, of course. Dirty Alfredo. <laughs> you bad, bad man. It's fantastic. Jackpot, every so often, you'll be rifling through their chest of drawers. You'll come up across one which is padlocked shut. Often you can just unscrew the back of the whole thing. It's fantastic. <laughs> they will, of course, rinse you on the feedback. Now, if I'm honest, I think that feedback is overrated. And that's quite a clever sentence if you think about it. In your own time. I do. I, I had a one-night stand once, and uh, it was a terrible experience. I'm not going to use the word apocalyptic, but me and the young lady in question, uh, we met at a house party, maybe two o'clock in the morning. You know, one of those situations where you see someone, your eyes meet across a crowded room, everyone's drunk and lonely and desperate. You lock eyes and you realise that you're looking, each of you are thinking, ah, oh, that person is the sexiest person remaining. <laughs> so... I wandered over. I said something, my opening line was something charming and debonair, like, uh, <laughs> She responded in kind. <laughs> <laughs> Consequently, we had an awkward fumble, a bit of an awkward snog, and then I nodded hopefully towards the stairs. She looked at me with a mischievous glint in her eye, and she said, Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> and off we went upstairs. Now, what happened? I don't know how to describe it. We were not making love. We certainly were not making love. We weren't even making like. <laughs> we were making do. <laughs> I don't know if you ever made do. It's profoundly unsatisfying. And bless her, at one point she tried to spice things up with a little bit of feedback. She looked up at me and she went, harder, harder. I don't like that. <laughs> That's criticism, isn't it? It's not sexy. <laughs> it's complaining. Harder. She might as well be going better. <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> Someone else. You know, I, I don't know how you're supposed to respond to that kind of comment in the moment. If someone goes harder, you can't very well go, no. <laughs> Sorry, I, I said harder. I heard you, <laughs> Missy. <laughs> this is as hard as it goes. It only has two settings. <laughs> In and out. <laughs> For your information, it is currently in. <laughs> and you certainly can't, you can't ever go tighter. That's unacceptable. <laughs> Thanks for having me, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great festival.